record this. Um, so we're working on uh, the file with Jen, and the question was, how do you get gradients to work um, on both assets? Like we're having problems with it connecting, right? So is this a symbol already, or are you doing object drawing? Um, it was. It's like two different things right now. Mm -hmm. So what this shows me is that this is a drawing object, and, yeah. and I would like us to stay away from object drawing because um, it kind of has us like click in too many times and it's not really a symbol. So I'll show you how to um, get around that. If you hit Command or Control B, it will break it apart. Um, the break apart is, um, and, and I can see now this is an object too. Mm -hmm. So this is why you weren't able to um, get the gradient to run through all of them. I'm on a PC, so I'll hit Control B on a Mac, you would hit Command B. So these are now all um, drawing layers without the object drawing. So um, if you're using the brush tool, you just need to make sure that this is unchecked the way that I have it here mm -hmm. when you're doing that. Okay, so um, um, otherwise you just hit Command B, which is not a problem. So I'm gonna select both of these and um, then I'm going to, uh, so these are, did you draw them multiple times or did you duplicate them or they're um, not symbols, right? I saw I duplicate them. They look a little different apart. Um, mm -hmm. I think I was messing with the vertices afterwards. Yeah. So my recommendation actually is to um, turn these, uh, turn this into a symbol so that when we, when we alter one and we can alter the next one. Right. So I'm going to just okay. do this with you right now um, just by deleting these and um, you have your own file. So uh, so basically this and this, I'm gonna shift click through it and then modify convert to symbol. There it is. And what are you calling these, Jen? I'll just call it acrylic cir circle. It's actually um, oh. a symbol in Puerto Rico. I think it means water or something. So oh, I'll just nice. call it that. Yeah. A little nod to traditional media here. Uh -huh. uh, so I'm going to say, OK, it's now a symbol. Now it has the box around it, but it's not an object. It's a symbol, which means we can do a little bit more like what I was showing you with the, um, um, the color shifts that we did with the plaid earlier. Mm -hmm. So um, now if I go to my library, I can bring that acrylic symbol. It, it looks like you have you have this layer too. I'm going to call it uh, background. It's water, right? That's what you mm -hmm. have it. Um, and go to my library, bring in one here, and then I, I can also just hold down Alter Option on a Mac and get them to duplicate. Um, hit. Q is the shortcut for spinning them, which is, oh. looks like what you kind of did before, right? Yeah. And get them to not feel like they're exactly the same. And you can also do warping and shifting, like, like do that kind of thing Sweet. too, so that they feel different. Yeah, this is much better because I did control T and it showed up like a very little tab for transformations. I got so used to that shortcut but I don't know about Q. That's in Photoshop, right? So control or command T in mm -hmm. Photoshop gives you free transform tool. It's the same name here, but it's Q is a shortcut. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now when I add a gradient to this, it will add it to all of those, which is pretty cool. Um, and there is a demo on the site that shows that with um, my Inuit character too, but I'll um, review this here. Uh, so we're not in it yet, so I'm going to double click into it. Now you see that I'm inside of this um, light symbol by going into acrylic circle. And so now it is as one object, and I can go up to the palette, and instead of choosing solid color, I will choose, um, do you want it to be radial or linear? I feel like radial will do better. Yeah. So ooh, see, it just changed them all. And this was a color that I had previously. Um, probably don't want this color. Normally, yeah. these will turn out to be just the black and white gradient. It will do. So you'll have to change those too. But so I'll double, 
I'll, it's, I think it's just a one click. No, oh, it's a but You're already click. on it. You just have to change the color, I think. Yeah. So um, maybe we'll go into, uh, we've got this red and blue feel, right? So maybe I'll do blue on one side and yellow on the other. Double clicking, choosing yellow, you know, I don't know. Um, something that would be fun. So uh, if we take this and shift it this way, it will make the green change more like that. Right. Um, uh, but there's also the gradient transform tool, which hides itself underneath the free transform tool. If I click my pen clicker, or if you control click it, F is a shortcut. And if I click on this, you can see that the base of that yellow is um, in the middle and then the green shifts out, but I can make it larger. I can also take that yellow and push it. Um, I can shift it like this to kind of make it look kind of fun, um, change the size of it. So it's almost tie-dye-ish right now, kind of mm -hmm. fun. So I don't know what direction you want to go with it, but mm -hmm. um, these are some ideas for um, making it function. Now we're seeing it on top. That's because I'm inside this symbol and I can jump out to the scene to see right. it here. Now we can, each one of these is a is what we call an instance of a symbol. So if I wanted one one to be a different color shift, we can accomplish that. So I'm going to show you that part too. I'm going to click on the black arrow tool. And like this is really a little distracting around her face. So if I make this um, a different color set by going um, to properties and color effects, and it says none right now, but you might um, take the alpha down or advanced gives you all of the options. So if I click advanced, I get alpha, right? Um, mm -hmm. Or I can take the green out. I have to scrub it, right? So each one of these could be a different kind of tone or something. So that, that helps you to make each one different. But you have to be out in the main thing right here. So you can, each one of these can be a different color set and it doesn't affect what's truly in the library, which is the first one, which is the green and the yellow one. Okay, so in order to get different colors, you just go to object color effects and advanced. Right, um, but it has to be a movie clip symbol first. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I see that you have like, this is like a gray background. Uh, the style is to keep it white. So that's yeah, just... I just did that to in order to see the white in the in the um, dress because I was trying to um, paint it and I see like the off grays and the bottom ruffles right there. So it's just oh to right, see it right. right now. Yeah, it may be that you you might want to actually go because it will be white. You might want to have it be kind of like like off grays or off -gray. playing okay. playing back and forth between white and gray so that it will start to pop out, especially since you have white next to what would be white here. Mm -hmm. So, or maybe you'll want another red layer underneath it or something. Yeah. And also it was an accident of changing the stage color, but it did help a little bit, but I don't know how to change it back to white. Oh, change, change the stage color, right. So if we go to modify document, it should be in here. All right, yeah, I, I pressed um, something and it was on the right and it said I thought it, it's the fill color or something, but it turned out to be stage instead. So I don't know what I mean. Yeah, it's not actually <laughs> in here. I'm going to cancel this and um, stage color. Yeah, I don't know. I never really changed that. So I'm going to click <laughs> on animate help, which helps to do. Uh, <laughs> and I'm, it opens up. Uh, the internet, maybe one of the students knows the answer to this question before I do a search myself, but change stage color. I'm going to put in the Adobe support and run that search. 
and home. Um, share this screen, which has the direct answer. So the Adobe support is, is really fantastic. Um, use Stage and Tools panel for animate. So um, overview screen using the stage. Pasteboard, it's called pasteboard color. Yeah, that's yeah, what I, I saw, but I couldn't find it. Yeah. <laughs> that's under properties. Um, let me try to share, animate one more time. Um, so properties, I'm gonna um, click here, document settings. Mm, interesting. I think we have to be on the scene, but oh right. So this this is this is unchecked stage. Oh here we go. White. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. So you may have <laughs> like uh what you you may have accidentally like chosen a color, right? Yeah. Um and put it into there. Um Helpful for other projects, but um, we're we're using white for our cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good to know. So it's in okay. published settings. Uh, um, well, oh, properties, I see the stage. document settings. All right, I, I switched little... it back just now. I found it was mm -hmm. it was blended right into the. Um, yeah, the, I was seeing it blend into because <laughs> it was gray for us. Yeah, so it was actually transparent. I think is what that gray what was potentially so. All right. 